Wow. No abandoned mine shafts. None of that. Look how scary this is. Holy smokes. Imagine it with monsters in it. Ugh. Can you imagine how hard this was to play? So, you know, people like Paul Sawyer Jr. and, you know, and you know how Zoom is like, Zoom is always building ways to control mobs, right? Because he's been playing since his old days. And Zoom is a person who likes organization. He likes everything predictable, and he doesn't like being surprised. And he's playing this game, and these mobs, and you can't keep it bright enough. I mean, I'm putting torches every three blocks, and I cannot keep it bright enough. So, can you imagine how icky the mobs were to Zuma? So, is it any wonder he learned redstone and contraptions and pressure plates? And Oh, he must have been so happy when he came out with pistons. You know? So, and Paul Soros Jr., the big... Swaggering adventurer bragging all the time about how tough he is and stuff and eee. Oh, I'd love to get that but no, I shouldn't play this cheaty. I should play this straight. I don't know where I am. Ha ha. This is my stairs back out another way. Da -da 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 See, I haven't done too much or gone very far because I don't want to yet. Oh, I'll show you a picture at the end of this video. I want to find some fists of knives. What? This used to scare me really bad, having to change my render distance and afraid to death that cooties were going to clobber me. While I was goofing around, a creeper got me down there. There's a cave down here. I found it because of that creeper hole. I'm going to have to find it. That's right by my... Whoops. <laughs> that's right by my base. Little jerky. I could use a better computer, that's for sure. Oh, what? I got some birthday money, and I'm going to get a hard drive, an external hard drive, uh, to um, run my video editing software on so that it's not... I found... I have to tell you this stuff. Um, so I'm going to get myself an external hard drive to put my videos on and my video editing software on. So here's the plan. I've got OBS, Open Broadcast, what? Open Broadcast Software. I'll link to it in the description. And uh, that's for recording. I've been tweaking my microphone. I... Ooh, this is really good news. There is a sweet what? old... What is it called? It starts with a B. I always have to look it up. It's called... Let's scoot the screen around. Hold on. It's called Blender. And it's for animators. People who do like, you know, 3D animation and stuff like that. Which I never do, of course. But what I didn't know was it has a complete video editing suite that looks to be about, as far as I can tell, about as good as Sony Vegas, the professional software uh, for video editors that I could never afford in a million years. Yeah, that one. So I'm going to have to learn it. It's going to be a relatively steep learning curve. Although not too bad. I got kind of lazy using um, uh, Windows Live Movie Maker because it's actually made for people who don't know how to edit. And so I've developed bad habits as a result of using it, basically. So I've got to relearn things like how to cut and, uh, you know, but I can do a lot more with it than I can with the software uh, that's provided for free with Windows Live Movie Maker. So basically what I'm saying is I'm relearning how to pretty much do everything involved in this uh, recording and gaming stuff. Uh, why did I tell you this? Oh, because I wanted to be brag. 
One, two, three. Oop, I got hiccups. Tree. I didn't bring the trees. Silly. And a creeper got me right outside my door, so there's a big hole in front of my door now. Why do I keep picking stuff up? So I'm redoing the channel, kinda. I mean, it's still going to be my channel, but it's going to be a lot better. So, tree. Torch. Tree. One, two. Okay. Three. One, two. One, two. Three. That's the way it works. Boop. I gotta get a better mouse. Da da da. Oh, that's really long. Oh, that's all right though. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I have to put things. So, new editing software that I need to learn because I don't know how yet. These are up too high. They're not doing me any good at all that high. Oh, I used to be so scared I'd go outside at night because I'd have to because I forgot something. And it would just kind of make me sick because I couldn't see. And my view distance was wrong. And I had you bobbing on, and the sounds, I couldn't tell what was a cootie and what was a, a nice person, and even the sounds of your own feet would scare you to death, and... Oh! What I've decided, I'm going to do with this series. You know, I'm watching uh, all of um, Kurt J. Mack's old portfolio, just because it gives you a good history of the game, the people he's come in contact with, the innovations in the game, the modifications, blah, blah, blah. So I've been learning a lot about the game from watching these. I like watching the older players because, especially when they interact a lot with other people, which is odd considering Kurt J. Mack is not exactly what you would call a real gregarious person. In fact, he calls himself an introvert. Uh, which is, I'm not saying that he's not an introvert. I'm saying that's what he calls himself. He identifies. So watching these, I've really learned a lot. But I got curious about something because I've been watching them in series. I I saw the to whatever monument, and then he comes across like a fake version of the same monument. I'll show you pictures at the end. Hello. Um, I got curious about something. It's a structure he calls the fist of notch. And I got curious about whether that would um, repeat, because he was curious about it. Because it just, it's, it's uncanny, the similarity between the two places, that the valleys are almost the same, the structures are almost, almost exactly the same. Uh, almost the same distance away from each other, everything. Kind of creepy, really. So I got curious if that's a repeating structure in the game. Now, I have not gone very far from this area because I'm not geared up and there's stuff here I want to do. Well, here, this is my test world, but also in that other world that I started that I was playing with you guys just a few days ago. So I'm curious to see if the Fist of Notch or structurally what repeats in the game I'm not saying I'm going to find an exact copy of this Fist of Notch. Uh, Kurt didn't either. But I'm curious to see about structures and how they uh, repeat in the game. So I would like to go out and look for Fists of Notch. There's no strongholds. There's there's a nether. Oh, that's... Nah, it's a tree to cut down. Um, there are no strongholds. There are no... 
Is that a wolf? <gasps> I've been trying to catch this wolf for such a long time. It keeps eating sheep. I come out here and I'll see wolf. When I first spawned out here, that guy was there. Where did I put the bones? Bones. Oh no. Oh, please let me catch a wolf. Please let me catch a wolf. Oh, I would like to have a wolf. I have to go back to that other world because we have a wolf. See, now the reason they do this, how quiet I'm talking, the reason they do this is you're supposed to get all distracted, try to tame that wolf, and end up getting clobbered by the bad guys. As a matter of fact, I was pretty sure I couldn't get a wolf because I got it with the first bone. Unbelievable. There's more than one out here, too. Two wolves. I don't believe it. I got two wolves. Never expected that. It's probably getting too dark out here for you guys to see. Oh, that's another thing. Mobs will run into you? Really? So, I want to go on adventure and look for the Fist of Knots. That's what. I, I have two wolves. Unbelievable. Never in a million years I should kill this guy for leather. I should just... Good boy. Girl. Good boy or girl. Will you guys stay out here and keep me safe? I guess I should put him in the house though. Because creepers could blow them up. Oh, look, they're pushing me. Have you ever seen an old, well, actually any of the versions of Kurt playing, um, 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 Farlands or Bust? He's always getting mad at Wolfie for pushing him. We can't push each other as, uh, players anymore, and chickens used to knock me off of cliffs. Jeez. Whoops. Be careful, be careful, you noodle. I guess I should call you Noodle. Are you a Noodle? Are you a Noodle? Oh, I can't put him in the house. You know why? Crops. Come here, guys. Come here, babies. Come here. Where's the other one? They sure move fast. Hard to make them sit. Um, are you going to sit? Too far away. No! Oh, come back. Oh, you know what? I can make them make puppies. Will they... They need meat, or can they do it with bones? I don't know. They're not going to be around. You want food? Will that work? Nope. Can't use bones. Gotta use meat. Uh-oh. I gotta make them sit. Sit right there. I'm gonna get you some food. Oh, no. Okay, bones could go back in here. Yeah, I used to get knocked off of all kinds of stuff by chickens. I was afraid of ravines. If I heard a chicken behind me, I'd freak out because I was like, oh no. I don't have any zombie flesh. I'm not sure why. It's not like I haven't been killing zombies. Oh, and I'm going to need one for the pup because the pups are always unhealthy when they're born. Yeah. Okay. You stand up, you stand up, because you can't make puppies if you don't. Who wants a pork chop? You want pork, who wants a pork chop? You gotta stand still. Here. Oh, you, you ate it, huh? Well, I have enough pork chops to breed them. We're going through some pork chops, guys. Sit down, sit down. Why I no breed them? Why I no, you can breed them, right? Okay, I'm just going to take all the pork chops. It's not like we don't have a lot of pork chops. I'm going to try to breed a dog. I can't get out my door. This would be bad if there was a creeper. Stand up. Stand up. Can you breed him? Breed you? No, you can't. Can't breed him? But they don't breed. Okay, fine, you jerks. Quit eating my pork chop. 